welcome back to another video. We are at Perth Station on Tuesday the 2nd of April 2024. It is the first weekday, normal weekday of the 2024 Midland and Airport Line shutdown. And yeah, there's quite a lot of weird stuff happening. So in this video, we're gonna be checking it out. Now, make sure you go back and watch the Perth Stadium video that I just made, which is talking about just the trains now stopping at the stadium on weekdays. These Armadillo Line services over here. It's the first day, first normal weekday with no event that they're actually stopping there. Now I did end that video here in the exact same spot and said the things I'm about to say again. So you're probably just gonna hear it again if you already watched that. But anyway, what I was saying is that over the weekend, trains from Fremantle and Claremont used the island of Platform 6 and 7 to terminate. Claremont trains came into Platform 6, Fremantle trains came into Platform 7. Uh, and then they just operated from here. No need to go to any other sidings. See, there's a free man train departing right now. And it was so good. That was such a good system. And all the Claremont trains were A series, actually giving them use. Considering that the Midlands, Armadale and Thorny Lines are all closed, so they're not used that much. So it was such a good system. But now, just because it's a weekday and there's a slight increase in frequency from 5 trains per hour to 6 trains per hour for the Fremantle and Airport Lines in the peak, they've now resorted back to using platforms 8 and 9 over there. As you can see, one just terminated. And now the Fremantle services go all the way to Claysbook to turn around and the Airport services, or whatever, Claremont services, whatever you want to say, just turn around at Macaiver siding and their B series again, which I don't understand why. Which is just like like last year what happened. And I'm quite disappointed at that. It was a really good system over the weekend. Um, and if they are going to run to Claysbrook, might as well just run them in service, considering that the train replacement buses are running from there this year due to the Armadale ones already being in the city, instead of having to force everyone onto the Victoria Park shuttle. And because, you know, Fremantle and, yeah, this announcement. Fremantle and airport lines used to be connected through, obviously, through Perth to the Midland line. So instead of having to change twice by getting off here, switching to the Armadale line. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, see? They're telling them to use the Armadale line. So instead of that, they could have just gone to Claysbrook and then you don't have to change once there for the buses instead of having to change it Perth for the Armadale line for two stops and then change the buses. Anyway, the Claremont B series is here now. Again, set 122. I'm not gonna film much more of this though. It's literally just the trains coming in and out of here. And I might film more later. For now, I'm gonna stop this video. And we're gonna film in peak hour when there's absolute chaos of people trying to get to Claysbrook. It's gonna be so confusing. Here we are, just got off the 51 right there, 2456. Um, we are in Claysbrook. This is the new bus stop they put up for the 51 only here on Brook Street. I actually really like this stop. It's a really big pole here, same on the other side, just in the city, in Claysbrook, in these gardens, for this really express route, which after this goes straight across Grand Farmer Freeway and across the Swan River to Orang Road, which is really cool. 40 minutes to Cannington apparently. Anyway, we just got off here now. Um, I came from Perth Busford, so I wasn't bothered taking the train to Claysbrook. Might as well just use this and go to this cool bus stop. Uh, it's been three hours now since I filmed that intro. I, I didn't really do anything. I literally just had lunch in the city and then just did um, filmed a few deviations up towards Mirabuka for the bus video, but that's irrelevant right now. And now I'm already back three hours later. Anyway, it is now, it's not really full peak hour yet, but the 900 this year is actually already starting operations at 2.40 p.m., which is so weird. It would make sense if, if it was school, but there is no school, it's school holidays, so I don't know why they did that this year. Last year it started at like four or something, 
but oh well. Anyway, we are now basically in central Facebook. Look at these buses on all sides of the intersection. Cat, cat, normal, another normal. So, especially I wanted to come here on the streets because I want to see where all these train replacement buses are actually turning around. Um, because, yeah, Claysburg doesn't even have a roundabout nor a bus interchange. So it must be very weird and hard for them to turn around. So as we came up on the 51, over here in Wittenum Street, to the back of Wellington Square, I spotted a massive bus layover area. There's literally like 15 buses lined up on the road. So let's just go around the corner here. Okay, a lot of them seem to have left now. There's literally like four left. Okay, uh, uh, 15 was an exaggeration, there was like 8 or 9 maybe. And now several of them left, but still, they're parking up over here. There's obviously a lot of coordinator issues, so I don't really want to film too much around them, but... Um, they just made this temporary area with cones here to service as a layover. And also they can just turn around in the streets here, as we just saw that 3419 at the intersection. But the other one went the other way, so they can just choose whichever way they want to go. Very nice park here, of course, with the city in the background. Um, so let's take a look what buses we have here. They are all Optimus. Actually, no, in the middle there's a future bus. But other than that, we have 2978 on the front. That's a Transdev bus. So yeah, we're actually interested to see which, like, are all the operators doing the services, because Obviously, Armadale Line shutdown is making Swan pretty occupied, so I don't know exactly where they're going to be taking all their buses from, but... And I don't have 100% memory of every bus which depots in, but still, we can see a few here. 3424, that's also Transdev. 2316, that's Path. So, okay, that's already two different ones here. Definitely Transdev and Path operating it. Um, 3291 Transdev. Yeah, I think a lot of these are actually Palmyra slash Fremantle slash O'Connor, whatever you want to call the depot. All these 32s. So, yeah, I can't believe they're coming all the way up from there and going all the way to Midland. 3420. Oh, that one doesn't even have the sticker on it to say which operator it is. I think it's probably Transdev as well. And we have another future bus over here, 1683, just getting ready for the 902 to High Wycombe. As you can see, that's path there. Anyway, let's walk around the corner now to the actual station and bus stops and see what's going on there and how many people are coming off the trains. Okay, we're up at Claysburg now. There's a lot of people coming off the Vic Park shuttle up here, so it is making it's well used with the extra service, extra services in the Vic Park shuttle. I mean, not extra, but like every seven minutes is now actually quite justified. Um, so people are coming here with the train and walking over to the train replacement bus. Well, Freeman's line is turn, turning around here on this platform, as you can see right here. There's one coming in so dumb that it can't just continue. Just keep going. It should just go. Perth and then keep continue to Claysbrook. No one has to switch and you can just get up here. So bad that it doesn't. Set 46 over here. And 23. Anyway, that's just completely locked off. There are coordinators up here to help you. Lots of people transferring here. Let's head down to the buses now. Nice view of all the trains in the depot here. I haven't walked down here for quite a while because there's not really any reason to. But this is actually quite in, um, similar to some really old shutdowns back in like 2013, 14, 15. I've seen videos of shutdowns. Then Press City Link shutdown, you know, Claysbrook, everyone had to get off here. That was so cool. And now it feels like that again. As well as some um, like more recent. Uh, unscheduled disruptions which caused buses to terminate here. Anyway, almost down. They have signed the routes pretty well with these big signs that shut down. And then here we have Big Park, Armadale, Thorny Line shut down, Midland Airport Line shut down, side by side. Who would have thought we would ever see this, you know? 
two major train lines like that closed. Well, four, really. And here we are now on Fielder Street. There's a lot of coordinators, but there's not actually many buses here. They just come in and stop, and that's it. They're layovering at a different spot, as I just showed you. Oh, they've actually made a second stand. What the? I didn't know they changed this. So stand one is for 902 and 905, although that's not running, obviously. And they have another stand over here, stand two, for the 901 to Midland, which is obviously busier most of the time and has way higher frequency, just like last year. Uh, and where's a 900, though? They, they made stands, but they didn't make a 900 one. Oh, no, they did, right there. Stand four... Stand 4 over there just has all the normal ones. I can't believe they made all these stands just for this. And then we have stand 3 over here for the 900, 2420. I'm not getting in this one though because I want to be at the front. This year's 900 route is very different since it starts at Claysbrook, which it didn't even go past here last year. Um, it, and then it goes across Grand Farmer Freeway. It actually has to bypass Mount Lawley Station this time without stopping. Which is going to be so confusing there, although that's not as busy as Ashfield last year, which it bypassed without stopping, which it's not doing this year. Um, and then it just goes out into Guildford Road and the rest to Bassendine and Midland. It's pretty much the same as last year, except for the Ashfield section. So I will film over to Bassendine, where they also put some extra stands. But I'll take the next one, because that one's already full. I can't believe it's already running now. It's literally not peak hour. It's going to be hectic here in peak hour. 2420 departing on the 900 service. We'll be taking the next one. And the 901's just pulled up. 901 on the other side as well. Lots of buses. So they actually have a traffic worker here with a stop sign, stopping cars while passengers unload from buses on the other side so that they don't have to wait. Sort of like American school buses. That's pretty weird. See, there's a car right here. Now it has to stop. Nine one to Midland departing. That one's so empty compared to the 900. No one's really going to the stations in between. Up to like Bayswater and Bassendine. Oh bro, now this guy has to wait as well. The bus itself has to wait. Everyone's already got off there. Get off the road. I remember the last time I was here on the train replacement bus, I got almost vomited on. <laughs> During the unscheduled disruption. Go, go, go. Off to layover and 1688 departing for Midland. At the moment, without the peak hour traffic, there's probably barely any difference between the 900 and 901. Or like, actually I don't know when it would be more difference. With the peak hour traffic and Guildford Road slowing the 900 down or now? I don't actually know. With like less passengers. But yeah, it's still barely any difference. It's scheduled as like one minute, zero minute difference. Although that's just quite lenient. It's probably always 900s being like 5 to 10 minutes early. There we have the 902 with the Claysbrook station, Desto. Haven't seen that for a while. Now I actually just saw the sign here for the 900. It says it says Limited Express. Last year it actually said Express to Bassendine, which is so weird. That's, I've never heard the term Limited Express used for Perth buses before. Um, it, that's really confusing. You don't even know where it's expressed to.
There goes 900 to putting the temporary stand 6 they made here again out on the main road just like last year. Yeah that was pretty fast, it took like um, 16 or so minutes to get here because Guildford Road was empty right now, it's not even 4 o'clock yet and he was speeding so bad, he went 75 at some point, the speed limit is 60 not good <laughs> that that could really get him into trouble but okay whatever he got here fast the 901 is probably still quite far behind here's the stand 900 slash 901 because it's literally the same thing but like there's a lot of other bus routes which duplicate and they don't do that but okay um and on the other side we have a temporary stand five which just says 900 and 901 separately Anyway, we're at Bassendine now. There's not really a point to go to Midland, but I might as well just go just to ride the train replacement buses. But I'm not gonna film because the, we've seen this train replacement route so many times before. So I'll just take the next 901 now, which is uh, probably gonna be the one we saw anyway earlier. Um, yeah, so actually the 900 also skips past, oh, it's already here. The 900 or also skips past East Perth, where there was actually a lot of people getting onto this 901. Okay, there was literally two minutes faster than the 901's already here. So it skips past East Perth. Here's another 901 to placement station. I'm just gonna see what the poll says over here. It skips past East Perth and Mount Lolly in the outbound direction. Inbound, it only skips past East Perth. That's what it says there. Anyway, let's try to catch that 901 now if I still can. Arrived at Midland Station. Again, they put up the new bus stands, like in the car park, away from the main bus interchange for the train replacement bus routes. We have stand 12 over here for we just drop off stand 11 for the 901 and then stand 10 around the corner over there which they're only just putting up the sign now even though it's already one quarter of the usage of that bus stop has already been done but okay for the 900 express in the morning that's pretty smooth they've actually put up 900 stickers at all the other stops as well success hill guild for these guild for the woodbridge um there's an nh over here 1221 but that's super common nowadays anyway and there's a B12 and the 291 to Redcliffe which I'm probably just gonna get on that now no 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 Redcliffe no sorry I want to go to High Wycombe um, yeah and then never mind I'm silly when I go to High Wycombe just take the 902 and we'll take a quick look at the airport as well, just like we did last year, and then that'll pretty much be it. Let's just take a look at the sign here. Obviously all closed off inside as well. Empty station. Okay. There goes that 
B12 on the 291 completely empty. And we also have 301 Hospital Shuttle 1473. 279 just came in. Haven't been here for a while as well. It's been quite a several months actually like yeah two months and we have the 328 Wendawi 4 p.m. departure 2441 EU bad bus all the way out to zone 6 over there Three two eight, still always pretty well used I could I wish I could go in there I really do enjoy the Mandaring areas I could actually and if I had booked a trans WO coach back <laughs> This morning because you can go on Tuesdays and Fridays off it goes on a long journey Still can't believe this route exists to be honest Yeah, anyway Arrived in High Wycombe, just took the 278. Over here from Midland, there's some extra layover bays over here for the buses. Last time during the shutdown, they built a whole extra place out in the suburb of Forest Hill, which I actually never went to take a look at. This time they're just over here, because it's not that significant as last year. Um, yeah. So, just a quiet place here, obviously. High Wycombe is extremely inaccessible with the train replacement bus, it's so slow. I'd highly recommend taking the 270 instead from the city if you can. Or, I don't know, <laughs> there's not really any better options. They really should have an express, an express route for the airport line, not the 900 for the Midland line. But, unfortunately, there isn't much patronage and the 902 already has a low frequency, so... That's what you should expect, I guess. Anyway. Here we are at Highwickham. There's a station kiosk here now as well, if you didn't know. It's finally got opened. Oh yes, the water fountain. I really need some water. Lovely airport line water fountains. I'll just make my way over to airport central now. And this is obviously going to say no trains. Your attention, please. Due to scheduled track maintenance, your train services will be replaced by buses today between Perth and Midland. Perth and High Wycombe. Transperth apologises for any inconvenience. No trains are scheduled to stop at this platform. Yes, I'm happy that, as we observed last time at Ashfield and Bayswater, they've also put here alternative bus service 270, which is pretty much the only one, but yeah, that's very good. That is a very viable alternative, which takes almost the same amount of time and takes you actually into the city centre, not just Claysbrook. So, yeah. Hope people make use of that. It's so quiet and dead here, and there's literally a gas bus, 2012, about to do 902. Yeah, anyway, we're just at the airport now on board this gas bus on 902. It's about to get pretty crazy on Tonkin Highway. Um, I'm not getting off. I just realized they changed the stand 2 to a normal pole now at the airport stands. It's no longer that massive thing which you only saw here at the airport. Which now looks pretty weird, but it makes sense because like it's only used for the High Wycombe 902 whenever it runs. Um, anyway, it's literally empty. No one got on. All the tourists are confused as usual. There's barely any signage. I'm gonna run all the way to Claysbrook now with this service here, which is pretty weird on a gas bus going up through like Tonkin Highway, but it's 
more interesting than a Volvo at the moment, so whatever. It's pretty empty. I'll just chill in here and then see how the armored line is being utilized in proper peak hour once we get there. But then that's it for this video. That's the 2024 million Neverland shutdown. Not much difference to how it was last year, but we do have some changes with the armored line shutdown. Also in operation and going to Placebook and stuff. I literally saw transdev buses from Rockingham at High Wycombe right now. 29.90 and 29.91. That's so weird how far they've come from where they usually are. Majestic Everett Central Station right there. But unfortunately closed off. Okay. Like, not even you can go... Right now the Armadale Line wasn't closed. The 36 and 37 would be such a good option to go to the Armadale Line and get to the city quickly. But since it is, it doesn't really help. And it's just gotta take this slow thing. section as we have gas bus going down into Tonkin Highway. It's gonna be so noisy. And then hedge will be as well. Around the loop. at Placebook Station significantly over two hours later and literally basically all I did was just 901, 278, 902. It is now the middle of peak hour, 5.40 p.m. Well, actually almost the end of it, but I've seen so many train placement buses leaving. They're all packed. There's quite a lot of people waiting here for 902, especially considering it's lower frequency. There's a lot of buses here. Um, what I'm really just interested to see is the amount of people on a typical Vic Park shuttle right now and getting off at Claysbrook. It's probably like really full, which is which is so weird because obviously Vic Park shuttle has a stereotype now of being this ghost service. And now seeing it full again will make it feel like the Armadillo line reopened fully back to its original full um, demand. But really, it's Midland Line passengers. Who would have ever thought that Midland and Airport Line passengers will be using the Armadale Line? So weird. Yeah, here we go. It looks like a train just came in. There's a whole load of people coming down. I'll just go to the platform to take a look at it. And also, I just want to say that 902 is absolutely ridiculous. I hate it so much. It's scheduled as one hour and two minutes from High Wycombe to 
Claysbrook, although it only took 50, but still, that's really so bad. It took 35 from High Wycombe to Bayswater, while the train takes like 10. It's so bad. Even the driver was complaining, like, oh, what is this? Why do I have to go in here? Especially around the airport and Redcliffe. So bad, and the gas bars. But yeah. So much time wasted on 902 there. I just took it once. I'm not going to be taking it again during the shutdown period. Actually, probably not going to be taking it again for a long time after this. Because it's really no point. It's just so annoying. That's like one of the only times I actually get bored of being on the bus. On the 902. Yeah, I'm just... It's just crazy, like when you look at the map of Perth and you see how we're coming, you're like, oh, that's so close. And Mandra, and it's like, whoa, so far away. But during this time, it literally takes longer for a commuter living even right next to like Highwicombe Station to get home compared to someone in Mandra. It's just so crazy how different that can be because of the bus. Anyway, here we are now on platform two. Look at the amount of people already on platform one. Very well used. We'll wait for the Vic Park train to come in and see how many get off. Here comes the Perth train, still set 29 as we saw in the morning. Actually having passengers to pick up as the Vic Park shuttle. So good to see that. And Victoria Park, but that's not even the peak direction. This is the peak direction. Let's see how many people get off. Set 16. Me yeah, the, the front, the front's already pretty full, let alone closer to the back. It is so cool to see passengers in the Victoria Park shuttle. Watch this. Doors opening. Whoa. Oh my gosh. There's still quite a few. They're doing ticket checks. I'm just gonna go to Perth Stadium because why not? I'm just gonna see how it is there in Peak Hour and the Ghost Station. And here we are at Perth Stadium where I was six hours ago. Filming that video is, I don't know, I might actually have to put this in that video as well. 16 and 33, literally no one, of course. Random Peak Hour service. Absolutely ridiculous that they stop here now. I feel like the driver almost forgot. He was going like full speed around the corner. Maybe I'm just not used to it, but he was going like super fast and then all of a sudden I just heard the braking like Ooh, and then he just stopped, so yeah. Anyway, that was just to check that out. Obviously no one here, there's literally officers over there, which is so weird. Um, I'm going to be going back down onto platform number two and take the train back. Yeah, there. I just saw it. I just saw it the park. It's pretty full. Pretty good usage, but we're not gonna go back. That's it now. Thank you for watching this video. Midland Airport Line shutdown 2024. Press Stadium now in normal operation. And yeah, nothing much else to say now. Bye.